cop. <clears throat> this is Sergeant Mitchell. Do you cop? <laughs> What's your location? Anything about this freaking guy? Attention. All Mesa personnel. Level containment. Level 5. Sergeant Mitchell in the flesh, or rather, his remains. Hmm. I do have to admit, I'm impressed that you made it back alive from Black Mesa, even if it wasn't our intention to begin with. Yet you are still here. You should have just died there, but here you are. You've proven yourself a man of rare conviction. <laughs> but even this does not impress me as much as the words you speak. <clears throat> Whatever it takes, whoever it takes, <laughs> however long it takes, before I die, I will kill you. Is that right? Well, you see, Mr. Mitchell, we cannot let you kill Dr. Freeman yet. They authorize me to offer you a deal. You will be rewarded with authority, power, and time. The only payment we ask when the time comes, keep your promise, Mr. Mitchell. In the meantime, this is where I get off. Shit, I'm losing too much blood. I need to patch myself up. Hey! Wait! I need that med kit, buddy! I need that! Come back here! Bring that back! Hey, nothing personal. You better give that to me before it does get personal.
right? I'm fine, thanks. An HECU? What are special forces doing here? I was about to ask the same question. National Guards? Anyways, are you alone? Is there anyone else with you? Negative. It's just me. What the hell is going on out there? There is no easy way to put it, but as far as we know, we're under an alien invasion. Those things are targeting mainly military bases. It's been just two hours. First one big portal appeared, then ten, then a hundred. The best thing is to get the hell away from them. What about the army? There's no more army. No more military. We are the only ones left. Listen to me. We are gathering on the metro station on Brandon Street. If you can make it there, find Colonel Q. Tell him Nick sent you. Take this radio and map with the station marked on it. Use it. Good luck to you. Mitchell. Godspeed, Mitchell. Hey, Mitchell. Welcome to Albuquerque.
So, you're that sniper, huh? Black Ops? And you must be Mitchell? And you must be the one on the radio. I heard that you guys have a plan about getting out of the city. Maybe. I want in. Why? Hey, let's make a deal. I'm listening. Good. First, let's lower the guns, okay? I can get you to Brandon Street with shortcuts and give you sniper support. But I want in. I'm getting the hell out of this city. Alive. So whatever your plan is, I'm in. When we're out, I'll go my own way. Until then, I'm the only friend you got. So tell me, Mr. Black Ops, why should I trust you? You guys fucked us over at Black Mesa. Adam. What? My name, it's Adam. And we just followed orders. They sent us to do the job you guys failed to do. You killed your own people! Didn't you? By the time we got there, you guys already killed more than half the Black Mesa staff. That was different. How? Face it, Mitchell. I did nothing different than you. At least I didn't backstab my own brothers in arms. I already told you it was an order. You ever disobey orders? Now I got a question for you, Mitch. How the hell did you make it alive from Black Mesa? I found my way back. How did you get out, Adam? Well, I guess I found my way back. Hmm. <laughs> so, Mitch, we got a deal or what? Well, looks like you're in. All right then. Let's get the hell out of this goddamn city. Adam, are you sure this is a shortcut? That's the fastest way to Brandon Street, trust me. Smells like shit.
Mitchell, don't move. They set up claymores. Looks like all of them are connected to each other. Maybe if you follow the cables, you can shoot down the main switch. Cease fire! Cease fire! They're human. Well, well, look who we got here, boys. A black ops and a marine. Hoorah. Let me introduce myself, son. I'm Colonel Q, but you can call me Sir. Colonel, I met some of your men, Nick and Brad, at the hospital. They said you have a plan to get out of the city? That's right. We do have a plan. We'll run away. Where can we run away? Those aliens are everywhere. That's where you're wrong, kiddo. This picture came from our contact, Captain Roosevelt. It was taken in California. They're in the air and on the ground. Not on the sea. Correct. But there's no sea in New Mexico. Well, that's why we're going to California. But first we need this goddamn train to move. Someone has got to get past those zombies, get in the control room, and activate the train. Any volunteers? That's real brave of you, Larry. Your country's proud of you. Hello? Me? I did not volunteer, sir. If your mother was alive, she'd be proud of you, son. My mother's dead? You might die. But that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <sighs> All right, I'll do it. Good. Take Larry with you. Do your Marine thing. Yes, sir. Welcome to Station 8. Colonel, you need to see this. It's the President. My fellow American. 
Americans. As your President and Commander-in-Chief, it is with a heavy heart that I'm informing you that we have made a strategic decision to surrender to the alien invaders known as the Combine. Right now, this is the best chance for our survival as Americans and as humans. This has been the hardest decision of my life, and I did not do so lightly. As Americans, and indeed as human citizens, we have never willingly surrendered to oppression. And this very idea is anathema to our core values and everything we hold dear. Yet, the fact and hard truth remains that we lost this battle for now. And believe me, we will live to fight another day. We shall return. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. I never voted for this guy. I guess you don't understand the situation, my friend. We're all dead men walking. Those things. The only thing we know for sure is those things are smarter than we thought. Think about it. The first hour they come through the portals, but not just random locations. First, those motherships targeted the military bases. So they cut all the firepower we had, and they released the grunts to the populated areas, cities. It's like they know the way we are. They know our weaknesses. Those creatures can be many things, but they're not stupid. Do you know something we don't, Black Ops? Well, I guess I do. Well, maybe you should open your mouth and start talking. The aliens are coming. We've been compromised. Spit it out, Corporal. Oh, Colonel. We are so fucked. Everybody take possession. Mitchell, you gotta get that door open in 15 minutes. Move, move, move!
Welcome to Nevada, boys. Where's the rest of you? They're dead. All of them. Combine got them. Colonel Q? Dead. Shit. He was always a tough bastard. Toughest son of a bitch I ever knew. I'm Lieutenant Harvey, and these are my men. Fifth Ranger Company. Sergeant Mitchell. Adam. Nick. All right, Sergeant. We got six hours to make it to the beach. The roads to California will take a few hours, then we're gonna stop by the warehouse to get some supplies, and people too if we can. We're expecting some heavy combat with Combine on the way. You guys take this one. Why don't you get up on the gun and follow us? Rangers, lead the way!
you lost your fucking mind? Lo lower that thing. You're gonna blow us all up. Jesus, man. Calm down. Don't fucking tell me to calm down. There's a gas leak that can blow half of us all the way to hell with a fucking match. Half the guys on the planet are stuck inside, and the other half became brain fuck zombies because they got a big ass spider with a huge vagina stuck on their head. And you expect me to be calm? Okay, you're right. Now help me out here, alright? Tell me, how do we get them out? There's two ways to get them out of there. The first is getting the generators on so that we get the power back on to open the doors. Okay. What's the second way? The second way? I forgot, okay? I'm under pressure here. Give me a fucking break. First way, then. Remember, no weapons. Here, take this. A wrench? Why a wrench? Because I only got one crowbar, and I have no intention to give it away. Well, I got bad memories with crowbars anyways. Mitchell, by the way. Joe. But everyone calls me Boston Joe. All right, Joe. Let's save your friends from spiders with vaginas. I'm gonna kick some bubblegum and chew some asses, and I'm all out of asses. Wait a minute. I thought you said no weapons. About the shotgun, yeah. Uh, it was the other room that had the gas leak, not this one, so you're fine. Really? I mixed it up, yeah. Uh... Should do it.
Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for by this some have entertained angels without knowing it. Hebrews 13.2 Welcome aboard, gentlemen. I am Captain Roosevelt. Tell me, who is in charge of all these warriors? Please step up. Your name, young man? I'm Sergeant. I have no interest in your rank. Your name? Who are you? Mitchell. Mitchell, huh? Yes, Mitchell. A name with many meanings. For some, the meaning is a gift from God. For others, who is like God? Which one are you, Mitchell? Are you a gift from God sent to save us? Or perhaps you are God himself come to doom our worthless lives? Perhaps. He's cursed. Cursed, eh? What kind of curse is this? Nothing but some bullshit. Whoever is at the top of his command dies. Colonel Q, Sergeant Harvey, they're all dead. But whatever happens, he lives. It's just a coincidence. There's no such thing as a curse. We'll see about that, Sergeant. You and your men from now on are under my command. Welcome to Avalon Vale, and welcome to the crew. We got your back. Enemy spotted!
Miss America.
it's not a curse. You made a deal with the devil. Here, yeah, you have it. Well, it looks like you're the captain now. Captain Mitchell. It's been three years since the Seven Hour War. There are no more countries, only territories where they once were, all the governments having been replaced by one, the Combine. The alien Combine Empire had enslaved humanity, put in place a puppet leader, Dr. Breen, and then started siphoning the Earth's resources. Shorelines fell, exposing the seabed. The remaining humans were gathered in cities, the world outside of such areas filled with wildlife native to other worlds, making the exteriors of cities dangerous. Facilities like Nova Prospect were opened, their goal being to modify humans, erase their memories, and assimilate them into their armies. While some humans were conscripted into service, others volunteered, either for preferred treatment, better living conditions, or personal reasons. Thus, the Civil Protection Branch of the Combine Overwatch was formed, Earth's so-called police. The Combine Overwatch was an impressive force to be reckoned with, but an exploit was found. They had immense power over the air, and even more on land, but they lacked naval capabilities due to their overall goal of draining that resource. Until that happened, we needed a way to defend our ship from their air superiority, and for that, we needed to go to City 9, otherwise known as New Alaska.
A minute, please. I'll be right with you. Go to your room, honey. Daddy has a guest. I would assume you've come here to assassinate me. But your outfit... It doesn't look like someone who would like to sit in my chair. I do apologize for my rudeness. My name is Boris. I am the administrator of this fine factory. Look, I don't want to kill you. Not in front of your daughter. I'm just here for the weapons. Weapons? Mister, do you have any idea what we produce in this factory? Not weapons? Not weapons. What are those things? Those things are called cremators. You could say they are, in a way, extremely efficient and overzealous janitors. The Combine are planning to spread them throughout the rest of the world. Get rid of the refuse, the detritus, the trash. Keep the streets clean. But in this case, we are the trash. Are those children? <sighs> yes. This is how they control all the new generations. The Combine raises them as slaves, forcing any child older than the age of five to start to work. What about those younger than five? There are none. How many are there in this factory? About a hundred. I know what you think, and I have the same feelings. It disgusts me, but I have to work for them. For my daughter, that's the only way. I don't think that's disgusting at all. Excuse me. Think about it. Wasn't the main reason we were trying to go to space for decades for the resources? If we had the power to enslave them, wouldn't we? Hell, we enslave our own kind. We couldn't care less about an alien race. That's just nature playing out its own game. It's always been between predator and prey. That's the balance. But this time, the tables are turned. They got to us before we got to them, pulling our resources, draining the oceans, enslaving humans. Enjoy your time while you can, Boris, because sooner or later, humans will rise up and put a stop to this. But this time around, humans won't even last seven hours. They won't stop with the military. They will come for all of us, even for you and your daughter. You are a wise man indeed. Even though I do not share the same feelings as you, I have to agree that, uh, with what you say, you are correct. We just may be closer to the end sooner than we think. But there is a difference between you and me. Until that day, I will not give up on humanity. You're a good man, Boris. Now get out of here. Take your daughter and leave. What do you have in mind? I'm gonna burn the whole factory to the ground and take those kids with me. You will do this for the children? Well, I will, but not for the children. I need an army. Right after you get out of that room, I have to alarm the Combine. You know that, right? Do what you have to do and leave. Even if you don't do this for the children, I do appreciate it. And I won't forget that. Mitchell. Thank you, Mitchell. We'll meet again. We will.
Hello, Captain. I just don't understand why it's such an important thing. The captain needs to see it. The captain... needs to see what? Was gone, now it's back. A gift for the captain. Do you recognize it? Where did you find this? One of our guys, Kane, found this in the middle of the water. He was trying to hide it, but we caught him. Captain, isn't this... Everybody get out! Get out! I said get out! We meet again at last. You. Authority, power, and time. We have kept our promise, Mr. Mitchell. We gave you all the treasure you could possibly ask for. That wasn't treasure, it was a curse! All this power does nothing but kill. Authority only to murder. Nothing but the power to kill my own men. And this time, nothing but endless torture. Let me recall again, Captain. Whoever it takes. Whatever it takes, however long it takes, that was the deal, and now the time has come again. We require your services. We need you to kill Dr. Freeman. If there is someone to blame for all of this, all of the suffering, it's the Freeman himself. Take it all back. I don't want it. I don't want the power, the authority, not even the time. I just want it to end. Freeman can go to hell. Sadly, I have to inform you, it's not that easy. You see, Captain, from now on, our agreement is coming due. We've done our part. And now it's your turn to do yours. Or else? Then I have no option but to let you get in a battle that you have no chance of winning. Now, pardon me. I have to take this back to its owner. Do not be late. City 17 awaits. Alex. Yes, Captain? Assemble the men. Aye, aye, Captain. Captain, what's going on? We have to go to City 17. City 17? But why? Gordon Freeman is back. Somehow, we have to find a way to reach the Combine and convince them to side with us so we can hunt down Freeman together. Whoa, 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 slow down. Reach the Combine? Gordon Freeman? Captain, are you mad? You hear what you're saying. I'm well aware of what I'm asking, Nick. Mitchell, even if that was true, you know what that means, right? People will die. Are you willing to lose everything we have? Everything we have? <laughs> we don't own anything, Nick. 
We just borrowed it, even our own lives. We weren't meant to live this long. Mitchell, I, I beg you, please don't do this. This is madness. You're gonna get us all killed. You've survived for 20 years on this ship, and every single time we step foot on that land, too many innocent lives are taken. Those kids you took, didn't they have enough? You don't care for any of them, do you? You never did. Just used them. Do what the hell you gotta do. But I'm not gonna be a part of this. God help us. No. God will stay away from this one. My men, for more than a decade we fought together, we bled, we took lives, and we lost some dear to us. We did what we had to, to survive. We knew no sin, nor honor. Long ago, I knew this day would come. The day we would have to face a bigger threat. The day we would have to make a choice. Until this day, we have lived our lives freely. But there is a hard truth we must now face. Sooner or later, the Combine will drain the ocean completely, and there will no longer be any place for us to hide anymore. It is time to take action, time to pick a side. When kings fight for their thrones, they sacrifice the ones they deem unworthy. I am not a king, nor royalty. Today I stand with you as one of your own, I ask you, my brothers, to fight with me and show them who we are, what we are capable of, our strength and resolution, our bullets and our blades, our courage and our cruelty. Gentlemen, we are going to City 17.
There he is. I should give him the no, signal. It's your turn, Will. Should be more careful around here. Get your hands off me.
I knew this day would come. I knew I was going to see this man one more time. Boris. Mr. Mitchell. It's been a long time, old friend. It has been indeed. Normally, I would ask you to excuse my curiosity and uh, question why you are here, why you show up after all those years while being far away from the eyes of the Combine. But I already know the answer. I know he sent you. Our mutual friend. Wait, you know him? Know him? He offered me a deal. And when I refused to complete his deal, he threatened me with my own daughter. Just be careful, Mitchell. He's a no good, lying son of a bitch! Ah. Excuse my behavior. The reason I came here was to offer my help. I want to collaborate. And why? Do you think the Combine will agree to your help? What could one man possibly give them? Please, do not misunderstand me. I do not underestimate you. I know what you are capable of. But how will you prove that to them? I'm not alone. I have a ship and an army, and I'm ready to hand over all of it, to be placed under the Combine's command. That is a rich offer indeed. Please, excuse me for a little while. Thank you for your patience, Mr. Mitchell. Dr. Breen wanted me to inform you that he, along with our collaborators, is impressed by your desire to hunt down Gordon Freeman. In normal times, this collaboration wouldn't even be mentioned. But these are extraordinary times. You know what they say, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Good. Now all we have to do is find Freeman. We already know where he is hiding. We have multiple uh, spies in the Resistance. This brings me to a, another topic. You remember my Sasha, my daughter? Yeah, I do. She has grown up now. <sighs> She's in the Resistance as a spy. I will make sure that if she sees you, she will recognize you. But when you get out there, massacring members of the Resistance, whatever you do, do not, I repeat, do not harm her, or I will kill you. Sounds like a deal. Let me ask you something, Boris. You said you have spies inside the Resistance, right? Correct. So you do know where Freeman is? Correct. Where is he? Black Mesa East. Huh. Black Mesa. Captain?
admitted. This is a bit creepy.
Mitchell. Who is that? It's me, Sasha. Sasha? I'll get you out of here. I unlock the door, but you have to wait a few minutes. Then start making your way to the monitor room. I'll be there waiting for you. The legendary captain himself. Stop it. You're making me blush. After all those years, I get to see you again. I have to admit, I'm surprised you even remembered me. You were pretty young back then. Sure I was, but I have a good memory. I remember everything. And I remember you saving those children. I always saw you as a hero after that day. Hero? <laughs> You're talking to a villain, my dear. The hero inside of me died many, many years ago when I was young. Isn't every villain a hero in their own story? Not in this one. If you say so. Back in Alaska, after the factory, what happened? Me and my father got out of the factory. We were running away. The explosions were everywhere. The whole place caught fire. My father was carrying me. He was struggling to get us out of there, and we managed to get out, but after that we weren't so lucky. We were walking in the middle of nowhere for days. I could feel my father was afraid and hopeless. The moment we thought we were going to die, help arrived. And that's where it gets all blurry in my mind, the help. It didn't really look like any combine. There was just a man. A man in a suit. A man in a suit? 
Yes, a man, in a suit. Sasha, are you sure that wasn't your father? He was also wearing a suit that day. No, no, it wasn't him. I'm sure it was someone else. A man with a briefcase. What did the man say, Sasha? What did he say? He was talking about some kind of deal. What deal? Sasha, what deal? I think I remember the deal. He had to help me. Mitchell, move! Mitchell. Mitchell? Run! What the hell are you doing? Keeping my promise. Adam, open this goddamn door right now! Do you remember the first time we met? God damn it, Adam, just shut your damn mouth and open the door! That's an order! Listen, Mitchell, the whole place is about to blow up. Adam, please, you don't have to do this for Freeman. Freeman? Are you really that stupid? This was never about Freeman, Mitchell. This is just part of the deal. What deal? What the hell are you talking about? Follow the tunnel, Mitchell. He's waiting for you on the other side. What? Who are you? No. Not you. That was part of the deal. Go now. It's time. <sighs> Mr. Mitchell, uh, at last. You've done a great deal in a small time. Cut the bullshit, you liar. You used me. Let me correct you, Mr. Mitchell. We used each other. Your services were so very useful. And we had a good return for our investments. You lied to me. You said I was going to hunt him down. You said I was going to kill him. You just let my men die. You caused all this. You did all of this. You bastard. Well, technically, we were not the one who'd been lying. We asked you to kill Mr. Freeman. We never guaranteed that you would... But liar? No. If there was a liar, it was the one who was always next to you. Adam. You made him betray me. Yet again, Mr. Mitchell, he never betrayed. You simply cannot betray someone if you are never on their side, in the first place. What are you talking about? If you are looking for the truth, you only have to look at where this all started. Black Mesa.
All this time, the man I was looking for wasn't Gordon Freeman. He doesn't even know that I exist. <laughs> so, what now? Now, since Sasha is dead, the Combine will be looking for you. They will separate their forces from City 17 and come for you. And that will create Mr. Freeman an easier path. And since our agreement is finished, you have our permission to die. Farewell, Mr. Mitchell. Wait. What if I make it out alive? In one piece? Listen to me, Nick. Adam is a traitor. He set us up. He killed Sasha. Now it all makes sense. Combine started taking down our men one by one. Why would he do something like this? Where's Freeman? Nobody knows. He's been missing since Prospect Blue. He'll be back, possibly in a few hours. But the Combine don't know that. They'll think with Sasha dead that we've turned against them. They're going to split their numbers to kill me. That was Adam's plan. Damn. All right, all right. I'll pick you up. Where are you? I was in a prison near Prospect. Let me check the map. And found it. We'll be there in 15 minutes. 15? I don't think I can survive that long. Look, you have to, Mitchell. Set some defenses. Be smart. I'll try my best. Good luck, old friend. God be with you.
Nick, where the hell were you? Explain. You lied to me. No, that wasn't the deal. He he told me. Ah. Uh, Mitch, please. You betrayed me. Ah. You used me. Ah. Oh. Ah. You ah. fucked up ah. my face. Ah. 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 And now, ah. Mitch, please. I I can explain. You have my permission to die. Captain. Turn the ship. We're going to Borealis. 